Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to share with you my February TBR. I'm gonna go, I know I said one of my goals is to read four books a month, but in January, which that video probably is not up yet. It'll probably be the next video that comes out is my January wrap up. In January, I read, I think, nine books something like that eight or nine so I'm gonna kind of up my expectations for myself because obviously I can do it so I'm gonna up my expectations of myself and I think I have six books on my TBR five are physical and then I have one ebook that I want to get to this month so yeah I am just gonna keep keep aiming up and we're gonna try to get that Goodreads goal this year because I put 52 books and I really think I can do it. <laughs> I think I can double it. What do y'all think? Can we double the Goodreads goal? So one thing you'll notice is that I do not have a Wheel of Time book on this TBR and that is only because I don't own the second book and I need to buy it and I just bought a bunch of books so I can't really justify purchasing another one until I get through some of the books that I just bought and like as you can say I have a Robert Jordan shelf and these are all Wheel of Time books but they're not in order so because I bought them from that Friends of the Library sale so I just grabbed what they had and they had like the first book and the fourth book and then like 11, 12, and 13 and 14 I think is what I have so I need to like fill in my gaps so I need to buy like the second and third book and I'm really hoping that they have them at the library sale this year so I'm kind of trying to wait until April when that round rolls around again and see if I can get some more of my missing Wheel of Time books because I really do I am loving the first book like I'll do a whole wrap up of it but I want to be in the series like I want to read as much of the series as I can before the TV show comes out, which I'm super excited about, which looks like it's going to be super, super good. I'm excited. So I want to read them, but I don't want to spend the money right now on the hardbacks that I want to own. <laughs> so I'm going to wait and see if they have them at the sale. I might pick up the second one just like on Amazon, but there is no Wheel of Time book on this TBR at the moment. It may change. I'm a mood reader, y'all, so like these TBRs are not set in stone because like January I read a bunch of stuff that wasn't planned and I'm, like I said, I'm a mood reader. I see something and I pick it up and I, that's what I want in the moment and so that's what I'm doing. So I try my best to plan and do a TBR, but that's also why I keep my TBR small because a lot of times I will just add on other books throughout the month and be like, oh, well, I, you know, planned on reading four and I read eight. So that's great. So that's where we're living right now. So the first book we're going to get out of the way and talk about that I want to read in February is the third book in the Air Awakens series. I don't have it. It is, um, it's a Kindle Unlimited book that I have right now. I got the whole like five book series. I read the first two in January. I flew through them. I loved them. And so I'm excited to start the third one. And it's like a young adult fantasy. I can't really go much into it because it's the third book in, a, in the series. But basically the series revolves around this girl who works in a library. She, you know, she's in the palace library. She's a nobody. She's young, she's a nobody, she's not, you know, anybody important. She's just kind of like a, a servant and works in the library, in the palace. She ends up unknowingly saving the crown prince. Come to find out, she has these magical powers that no one has seen in hundreds and hundreds of years. And, you know, that is where it goes. And it's really good. I like the level of political intrigue in it because that's something I really enjoy in a book. I love the action but I also love political intrigue in books. Like in the second Mistborn era one book, I love that. 
just the, the politics of it and the back and forth in the inside like I love that and that's kind of it gives me those vibes that whole series gives me those like second book in the Mistborn series like political vibes which I'm digging so I got it like I said on Kindle Unlimited so if you have Kindle Unlimited check it out like it's a really cool series to get for like the cost of Kindle Unlimited. The other book that I want to get to in February is Cinder it's the first book in the Lunar Chronicles Yes, I haven't read this yet. It's been on my shelf forever. And I plan on getting into it this month. It's pretty short for me. Like, because obviously I've been reading, like, the Wheel of Time series. And they're all, like, 800 pages. And Brandon Sanderson. So, to me, this is pretty short. And I should fly through it. Hopefully. So, definitely want to get through Cinder. My one friend really, really loves this series, and she's been trying to get me to read it for so long, so she'll be excited if I finish this and can tell her, hey, I finally did it. Next, I am going to read The Giver. This is a classic. It's another one that I've had on my shelf for a very long time. Um, this and, I think, Cinder were both on my, like, backlist TBR video that I did a little while back. I'll link it for you. It, I've just had them for so long and I know that I will love it. Like the premise of this book just sounded so good to me. I know it's a classic. Everybody loves it. I have not seen the movies. I know it's dystopian. So I'm just super excited. Again, this is another like short one. So I'm pretty sure I will fly through it again. So hopefully, hopefully we will read this. Next up is Crown of Feathers. This is one that I hauled recently in my Amazon haul, and I'm super, super excited. I really want to get through this and then start reading the second one that just came out because I just love that it is like the Mulan trope, the girl pretending to be boy trope. It, it sucks me in every time. Like, I'm just super excited. I want to read it. I want to just, I want to read it. Why else would I buy these books if not because I want to read them. But also, like, the cover on this is super, super pretty. So this is one that I want to get to in February. And this is a thicker one, but I think, let me look. Yeah, it's got bigger text to it, so I don't think it'll take me that long. I'm a fast reader, y'all. Like, for the most part, man, the Wheel of Time book is making me look like a super slow reader. But I'm <laughs> typically a pretty fast reader. Um, except for that, like, it depends on, I guess, the level of detail of the writing. Like, Robert Jordan is very, very, very detailed. So it's taken me longer. Like, Sanderson takes me a little longer because of the level of detail. But normally, I read pretty quickly. So hopefully. All right, the next book that I'm going to read in February is this beautiful copy of Throne of Glass. As I said in the book video where I hauled this from Book Outlet, I've never read a Sarah J Mass book. This will be my first foray into any Sarah J Mass book. And I just thought it was, for one, it's just beautiful, this cover. And this is an edition I got from, like I said, I got it in book, at Book Outlet. I think they still have it. I have a discount code I can link you down below. You get $10 off. I get like $10. It's cool. I'd appreciate it. But yeah, I think it's still available on Book Outlet. But it is just like a beautiful edition. And I've heard good things about this story. And I just want to read it. So I'm excited to see what all the hype has been about this series. I'm excited to get into it. And the final book that I am going to be reading in February should come as no surprise. It's Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I'm so excited to read this. I love Sanderson. I love the Mistborn series. I've read all of Era 1 and then the first two books in Era 2. I also want to read the next one in Era 2. And I just, I love his world building, his storytelling is just so amazing. So I'm really excited to read this. I know this is one of his like YA more sci-fi series. So I'm excited to see what he does with that because I've never read a younger book by him. I've only read his more adult books. 
So I'm excited. I know everybody loves this and that um, the second one just came out. So I'm really excited. If you've read this, let me know. Really, if you've read any of these books, let me know what you think because I'm super, super excited to check them out. If you see anything back here that you think I need to pick up next that needs to go on my TBR, let me know because I want to read books that you suggest. Another thing I want to do, and I've mentioned this before, is I want to read more self-pub books. In January, I did read one self-pub book and I really enjoyed it. I did a full review that I can link for you. But I want to read more and there's not a self-pub book in this month's TBR yet. So if you know of a really good self-pub or if you are an author who self-pub or, you know, a small indie author, let me know because I want to support more small lesser known authors and publishing houses so let me know and I will gladly pick up your book because it's just something that I want to get more into is smaller like self-pub books. All right guys thank you for hanging in there with me. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what's on your TBR for February and thank you for hanging around. Like, subscribe, watch a few videos and let's connect. Bye.